Hello everyone and welcome to this presentation on the CFA level 1 exam for June 2015. In this presentation we look at Euro dollars and LIBOR. These terms are used extensively in all three levels of the CFA curriculum and it is very important to know what exactly these terms mean. Let's start by looking at Euro dollars. Euro dollars refers to US dollar bank deposits that are held outside the United States. The term Euro does not mean that the dollar deposit is being held in Europe. For example, you could have US dollar deposit being held in New Zealand and it will still be called a Euro dollar. The term Euro is used as a prefix for any currency that is being held in a country where it is not the national currency. For example, let's say you have Japanese yen being held in South Africa. That will be called Euro Yen. You can also have Euro Euro, which simply refers to Euro deposits being held outside Europe. For example, a Euro deposit in Canada would be Euro Euro. Now, how is the term Euro dollar related to LIBOR? Let's take a look. LIBOR refers to London Interbank Offered Rate. It is the average interest rate estimated by major banks based in London at which they would make short-term loans to each other. Suppose you have Barclays Bank that wants to borrow money from Standard Chartered and both of them are based in London. They would probably refer to the LIBOR. It is important to note that there is no one single LIBOR rate. LIBOR is reported on five currencies, the US dollar, British pound, euro, Japanese yen, and Swiss francs. And further, LIBOR is reported for seven borrowing periods, ranging from overnight to one year. So there we have it. LIBOR is actually referring to 35 different rates. Five currencies times seven borrowing periods refers to 35 different LIBOR rates that are reported each business day. Perhaps the most well-known LIBOR rate is the three-month dollar LIBOR. Now this represents interest on a three-month euro dollar deposit in London. Now why is this euro dollar? Well because this refers to a dollar deposit being held outside the US, London in this case. And because it is in London, we have LIBOR on the US dollar or Euro dollar. But you can have other LIBOR rates as we mentioned. You could have one year LIBOR on Japanese yen or one month uh, Swiss francs for example. Now why is LIBOR so important? Well because LIBOR is used as a benchmark for many loans, floating rate loans. You could have a loan which is being quoted as LIBOR plus 1%. Further, LIBOR is also used in the context of many derivative contracts. For example, you could have an interest rate swap in which one party makes fixed interest rate payments, let's say 6% per year, and the counterparty makes floating rate payments of let's say LIBOR plus 1%. Therefore, LIBOR is a very important interest rate. Now that brings us to an end to this presentation. If you found the video useful, please make sure to like it and to subscribe to our channel. Please let us know if you would like us to make a free video on a topic of your choice. Thanks very much for watching and we wish you the best of luck on the exam. Thank you.